Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. Three cylinders are piled up in a rectangular channel as shown in the figure. Determine the reaction R6 between the cylinder A and the vertical wall of the channel. Alright, so let us try to initially understand this entire arrangement. So there are three cylinders piled up. Okay, A, B, C. This is having a mass of 15, this is having a mass of 40 kg, this is having uh, 20 kg. Their corresponding weights can be calculated by W is equal to mg, where m represents mass and g represents acceleration due to gravity. And you are solving this problem on planet Earth and hence acceleration due to gravity will be equal to 9.81 meters per second square. Alright, that way is this weight A, W, A, W, B, W, C can be calculated. Now to begin this problem whole lot of angles are supposed to be calculated and uh, we shall begin by calculating theta 1 and theta 2. Alright, so for doing that I have to do a little bit of construction. Let me extend the line from B towards the left hand side and let us say that this point is R and from B I will extend a line in the right hand side direction and this intersection let us say is S. Now suppose you want the value of theta 1. What we are going to do is we are going to use cos theta 1 is equal to base that is BD over hypotenuse that is BC. So let us write that down. We know what the hypotenuse is from here to here. This is 6, this is 5, 6 plus 5 is 11. So the value of BC is already known to us. What we need to determine is the value of DB, DB which is equal to RS minus RD minus BS something like this. And now we need the value of RS which is obviously equal to 18 centimeter. You can see that very well. RD, RD is this much. Okay, RD is actually equal to 5. Okay, what about BS? BS is equal to 6. When you put in all these values, you're going to eventually get the value of cos theta 1 is equal to 0 0.636. And if you do an inverse of that, you're going to get the value of theta 1 as 50.48. Okay, right now, let me write this down. Theta 1 has worked out as 50.48 degrees and we also will be determining the value of theta 2 all right now let's go ahead now guys try to watch this triangle carefully triangle b a e triangle b a e if you do cos theta 2 it's going to be equal to b e base upon hypotenuse that is ab so cos theta 2 is equal to be or eb upon ab we already know the value of ab this is equal to 4 plus this is 6 4 plus 6 is 10 but the value of eb it's still unknown it has to be worked out now eb is equal to rs minus re minus bs something of this sort okay rs obviously is equal to 18 re is this much that is 4 and b is obviously is 6 putting all the values you're going to get this and the, ultimately the value of theta 2 shall work out as 36.87 so let us write this 36.87 all right now let us try to make a free body diagram of all these three cylinders a b and c let us try to do that that's it and let me have the coordinate axis and let me join these points okay let me draw this line okay and extend it in either directions something of this sort and let me draw this line also this PC line okay something of this sort and starting from this bottom cylinder this is A um, this is B and this over here is cylinder C alright now we have to go ahead and fix all the forces that are acting in this particular arrangement so we have to start from point 1 okay in point 1 you can see that this surface is going to offer a reaction towards the right hand side in a normal sort of a way okay so you're going to have a reaction over here something of this sort and let us say that the name of this force is obviously r1 then secondly we have this wc okay the weight weight is going to be equal to mass into g 20 multiplied by 9.81 and its value should probably work out as 196.2 newtons all right what's next so we have this point too so this is the point of contact between cylinder c and cylinder b now cylinder b is going to offer a reaction in the upper direction to cylinder c okay somewhere along this line of action all right this line of action i'm talking about so this is going to be what you call point or the reaction i shall refer to this as 
R2. Okay, the angle that R2 makes with the horizontal is how much? This is uh, uh, theta 1. Theta 1 is equal to how much? 50.48. So this angle over here is going to be equal to 50.48 and if you can write here 50.48. That's it. Now moving over to cylinder B. Okay, so we have this reaction R2 in this direction. Okay, the reaction offered by cylinder C to cylinder B in the downward direction and somewhere along this line of action. Okay, so let us uh, right over here. Let us say that this is R2. All right. So this angle over here is 50.48, 50.48, and since this angle is a vertically opposite angle to this one. You're gonna write over here 50.48. Yeah. What's next? Um, R2 is over. Okay. And then we have this weight. Okay, weight 40 multiplied by g 9.81, and this weight shall work out as 392.4. How much? 392.4 newtons. All right. Um, so R2 is done. What's left? This. Okay. This point three. So this surface, this surface over here is going to offer a reaction in a in a normal sort of a way towards the left hand side, okay, directed towards the center. So in this direction, it's going to offer a reaction. So this is the reaction that I'm talking about. And the name of this reaction, obviously, is going to be R3. Okay, so R3, this is R2, this is the weight, is there anything else that is left? Okay, so cylinder A is going to offer a reaction to cylinder B in this direction, somewhere along this direction somewhere along this line AB okay this is exactly what I'm talking about in this direction the name of this reaction is given by R4 okay now R4 makes an angle theta 2 with the horizontal all right theta 2 with the horizontal and theta 2 is how much 36.87 so this angle over here is going to be equal to 36.87 you can write this and this is also 36.87 anything else so this is r4 from cylinder a to cylinder b there is going to be one more r4 from cylinder b onto cylinder a somewhere along this direction so there is going to be one more r4 okay equal and opposite forces um at the angle that it's going to make is this one all right okay so this angle over here is 36.87 this angle is going to be how much 36.87 and this angle is going to be again 36.87 degrees done what's left the weight okay so weight is going to obviously act in the downward direction at least on our planet weight acts in the downward direction um, so the weight is going to be 15 into 9.81 and it works out as 147.15 newtons okay r4 is done weight is done what else is there main reaction that is at point six so reaction at point six will be somewhere along this direction towards the right hand side at this point okay towards the right hand side so i'm gonna just write over here r6 okay one more force is left this point r5 it's gonna offer a reaction in the upward direction okay so let us write this R5. Now all the forces have been worked out. We just need to use either Lamy's theorem or the equations of equilibrium in order to compute the value of R6. Well, R6 is supposed to be calculated. This is R6. And in order to calculate R6, you need to calculate this R4. R4 can be calculated from this equation. And in order to find the value of R4, okay, you need R2. And R2 can be calculated from this equation. So basically, we have to start from this cylinder, that is cylinder C. And let us see whether we can apply Lamy's theorem or not. And let me tell you that Lamy's theorem can only be applied for three forces passing through a point and in equilibrium. And you can clearly see that there are as many as three forces when you speak of this point C, R1, 196.2 and R2. So we can apply Lamy's theorem, no issues. So, so I'm going to do this R2 whole divided pi sine of the angle between the remaining two forces so if this is r2 the two forces remaining are 196.2 and r1 the angle the angle obviously between them is 90 degrees so that is 90 okay i just need to calculate the value of r2 okay i don't need the value of r1 what am i going to do with that 
all right then we have 196.2 196.2 divided by the sine of the angle between the remaining two guys r1 and r2 okay obviously the angle between r1 and r2 is this much that is 180 point 180 minus 50 180 minus 50.48 okay that's it and you can write r1 also r1 whole divided by sine of um, the remaining stuff uh, the angle between these two guys r2 and 196.2 it is obviously equal to 50.48 plus 90 so 50.48 plus 90 okay let me get rid of this diagram all right now we just need to solve this equation i'm going to be solving this equation and now on solving this you're going to get the value of r2 is equal to 254.34 newtons that's it that's the value of r2 and i'm going to be using this r2 over here okay and i'm going to be computing r4 now let us see cylinder b Guys, you can clearly see that as far as cylinder B is concerned, there are as many as four forces, R4, R2, 392.4 and R3. Now, four forces are passing through a single point, although they are in equilibrium, but we cannot apply Lemmy's theorem over here because uh, Lemmy's theorem is limited to only three forces. All right. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using equation of equilibrium. Okay. Summation of all the forces in Y direction is equal to zero. And with this, with the help of this equation, I'll find the value of R4. Okay, let's try and do that. Um, but before that, what I'm going to do is I'll resolve R4. Okay, this way, this is going to be R4 cos 36.87. And this is going to be over here, R4 sine 36.87. And then as far as R2 is concerned, R2 is going to have a component here also. This is going to be R2 cos 50.48 similarly r2 is going to have a component down below this is r2 r2 sine 50.48 well that's it so when you speak of the y-axis you have this force upper direction positive and these two forces this one and this one downward direction negative so i'm going to take this as positive r4 sine 36.87 minus um, R2 sine 50.48 minus 392.4 ultimately is equal to 0 and the value of R4 can be given by 392.4 plus um, let me write this properly R2 sine 50.48 whole divided by sine of 36.87 if you do this calculation uh, you need this r2 is equal to 254.34 and you need to put this value over here and when you put this over here you're going to get the value of r4 r4 shall be equal to 980.9 newtons all right so we have the value of r4 and r4 will be used here in order to finally get the value of r6 r4 has to be divided into components something of this sort it's going to have a horizontal component towards the left hand side so this is going to be equal to r4 cos 36.87 it's going to have a vertical component in the downward direction and this is going to be equal to r4 sine 36.87 all right again i'll be focusing right now on cylinder a okay cylinder a and i'm going to be using this equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero but why have I used this equation? Okay, previously I used Fy, right now I've used Fx because my ultimate aim is to calculate R6 over here. Okay, and in order to find R6, since R6 is on this x axis, I have to use this f of x is equal to 0. Previously, previously, my aim was to get the value of R4. Okay, I didn't want R3. Okay, if I had wanted R3, I would have gone for summation of f of x is equal to 0. But my aim was R4. Okay. And hence, I used f of y over here. That's the only reason. All right. Now, all forces towards the right hand side shall be taken as positive. So, R6 is towards the right hand side shall be taken as positive. Um, whereas, when you speak of R4 cos 36.87, it is directed towards the left hand side. So, 
minus R4 cos 36.87 is equal to 0 and R6 shall be equal to R4 times of cos 36.87 and if you put the value of R4 is equal to 980.9 over here you're going to eventually get the value of R6 and it should probably work out as let me tell you cos 36.87 784.8 newtons that's it this question was really painstaking we started with geometry then we went on to trigonometry and then mechanics finally and then we used both Lamy's theorem also and we used the equations of equilibrium man this was really time taking stuff all right so that's all guys so guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics, then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit. I'll see you again with a new problem. Until then, it's a wrap. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.